What's up YouTube, it's Vince for the hashtag very cool guys. And in case you don't know, we're a general contracting company. I'm a small business owner and on a daily basis, what I generally do as that small business owner is, I put together quotes, I talk to clients, I foster new relationships, but on some days I have to put the old tech hat on and go out and service the clients. So we've been getting a lot of requests to see Vince's tool bag. Today, I'm gonna to show it to you. Let's take a look at the outside first. One of the things I love about this tool bag is it's husky in more ways than one. It's got three nice husky rubber wheels in the back here. This way, if we're rolling through you know, a sub suburban shopping so center or a mall, a lot of times they have criteria that says they have to be non-marring wheels to roll any types of carts or bags through. And the, this bag has it. It has a nice metal handle here. It goes up and down. It's made of metal, so it's pretty sturdy. It has two handles on the top. This bag can be pretty heavy. I mean, it's a hefty sack. So it's, it's good to have these two handles so you can lift it up and into your truck. At the rear here, we have two tape measure hooks. Okay, we have a 16 here. Okay, we have a spare 25 here. What do we have in our side pockets? We have a nifty set of Daredevil, Bosch Daredevil paddle bits. Okay, they rest here. Right next to it, we have two different size torpedo levels, both magnetic, pretty cool. We have a spare of my, one of my favorite Stanley utility knives. It's a quick change utility knife. It's really slick, I love it. And that one's made in America. Let's go to this back pocket here. We got a spare hole saw, the hole dozer from Milwaukee. You know, I gotta tell you, it's just, it's just chilling there. I don't know why it's there. Okay, we have the old companion open and adjustable wrench. It was just from an old set, so I threw it in the bag. We have a moisture meter. You know, we get calls to jobs that have, you know, flood damage, water damage, roof leaks. We need to test the floor, the drywall, the ceiling. What you do is you use these two probes, you pierce the drywall, it'll give you a reading. It'll give you a moisture reading, tell you how, what's the percentage of, of liquid in those building materials. On this side, we have Irwin straight line chalk, okay? It's blue, so it's non-mooring. Got a little Sharpie hanging out here, okay? A little felt tip marker. And then we have two sizes of slip groove pliers. Pretty cool, I like these. They have a lot of leverage and they're very easily adjustable. So I, I dig those. Move around to the front of the bag. Okay, we have a couple of, of chisels. These are not my good fine carpentry chisels. These are like beater chisels. You know, they are what they are. Okay, as we go deeper into the front pocket here, we have two sets of Allen keys. We have a set of claws shears. I know they're like scissors, but they're definitely huskier than a standard set of scissors. I believe these claw shears will cut through 15 sheets of paper at once. Pretty awesome. We have a set of well-worn voice grip. They're voice grips, voice grips. Let's get into the inside of the bag. Let's open this sack up and show you what's in there. We'll flip it open. First thing we have on top is an extension cord. You know, it's a three-prong extension cord. Maybe you need to run electric away from the wall to a charger, to a, to a drop light. We have this nice large framing square. A lot of times I'll use it for uh, a saw guide on lumber, square up frame, something like that. Whatever, it's handy, handy to have. I also have shoved in my, my tool bag here, my tool belt, okay? We'll go through that real quick. Another one of my favorite utility knives. We got a stud finder, we got nail pullers, we got the, the DeWalt chalk box, we got a small pry bar. Another tape measure, 25 footer. You can never have too many pry bars. We got this handy dandy purdy 12 in one. It's 
not like a standard five in one. This is like a 12 in one. It does like all types of things. It's crazy. It's crazy. We have a couple different sets. We have a couple different magnetic drives. Okay. I like the DeWalt brand. It's just my favorite. It is what it is. And then we have the Persuader, the large framing hammer. This thing is awesome. I've had this hammer over two decades. It's East Wing. It'll probably lasts forever. Let's move on. So let's start here. My favorite are the DeWalt titanium drill bits. Love them. I have two sets of them in this bag. Okay? I have a thermocouple because you never know when somebody's thermocouple is going to go. Okay? Just saying. So I carry a spare. This large case, if, if you've been to Home Depot or Lowe's, you know that you can buy drill tips, number two tips, number one tips, you know, accessory packs. They have a drive, they have tips, all built into one case like this. What happens is, is that when I buy cases like this with drill tips in them, it seems like I use all the small number twos first. And what is left over resides in this box here. This box, I bought, you know, it's just called a tough case container. I bought this. Hey, what are you gonna do? So I can put all of those extra square and extended, extended length number two tips and the star bits and these and the hex drives and all. I take them all out of the small case after the number two bits are out of them and I compact them and put them into this larger case. Have a pry bar. We have wire ties because we're always trying to, you know, we're always wire tying something up. We have a smaller hammer, trim work and such. We have a dead blow hammer. This is the real persuader, I gotta tell you. We have a rubber mallet. We have plastic anchors. You know, in a pinch, you need an anchor. You have them in your bag here. We have a little a roller for maybe smoothing out FRP you're putting on the wall. You know, all types of things. You, smooth a, you can smooth out a relationship with this maybe. I don't know. Here we go, we're rounding out this bag. We have a paintbrush because you never know when you're gonna have to touch something up. We have a bottle of Pledge Multi-Surface. We have no rags because all the rags have disappeared out of this bag, but we also generally have, or I also generally have, microfiber towels. So when we do a, a, a fixture install, we'll use the Multi-Surface and wipe it down with a microfiber towel for the finishing touches. Let's just start deconstructing this bag. On the inside, we have two more tape measure hooks. We got two Milwaukee 25 footers right in there, okay? Down here, we got a wire brush, just in case you gotta scrub something. We got spare DeWalt utility blades, heavy duty. On this side, we have some spare pry bars and a spare speed square. You never know when you're gonna need a spare speed square. Let's start up here in this little pouch. We have a drywall rasp. In case you don't know what this is, you have a piece of drywall, you cut it to size, or at least you've cut it to size, but it's just an eighth of an inch too big. So you try to recut it again, just never works out. Can't snap the piece off. What you need is a drywall rasp. All you do is just use this rasp to shave it down the size. We open up this pouch. We have assorted nail sets. You always need nail sets. We open up this pouch here, which is, it's kind of lined with a, with a hard plastic. If you open that up, you'll find scrapers, four inch scrapers. Why do you put them inside here? Because if the cover comes off the scraper blade, it could cut through your bag. So that's why I keep them there. We also have spare utility nut blades. This, these are hook blades. We have another scraper blade. We got spare blades here. More utility blades. You never have too many utility blades. A couple more chisels. We have a right angle drill attachment from the wall. This is an awesome little tool. Great for getting the tight spaces. We have a long, a long extension drive from Miller Walk A. Pretty cool. Ow. That's the long boy. We have one impact socket in here. Don't ask me why we only have one, but we have one. We have a diamond hole saw 
for cutting through tile and such. So that rounds out that pocket there. So we have our aviation snips. We have our reds, our greens, our yellows. Standards, right? We have, if you look in this bag, we have three, three of these Lennox, uh, you know, adjustable screwdrivers. Pretty cool. Can you tell they're my favorite? They are, okay? We have our jab saw for drywall work. We have another set of Allen keys. We have another pry bar, because you can never have too many. We have a four inch putty knife. Got a carbide cutter. We have a, an old cheap square. It's a plastic Stanley square. It's old, it's cheap, you know, it's found its way back into my bag all these years. This has gotta be, this square's probably 25 years old. Probably bought this when I was a kid. Joey Gamer, when I was your age, I probably bought this square, if you're watching, pal. We have a set of awls here. Love my awls. Our utility knife pouch, pretty much. We have another of my favorite. <laughs> quick, uh, quick change utility knives. We got a favorite of the viewers on the channel. The Milwaukee Fastback, but it has no blade in it right now. We have a set of Allen keys. This is probably the oldest, oldest set of Allen keys in this bag, and it's a very compact set. It just seems to be able to fit in the tightest places. I, I love this set. I would never, you know, I would never replace it. Like this, this the wall kit. I loved it. I was like, oh, it's the wall. Like it's, oh, look at it. It's so pretty and all. But it's so big, you, can, you can't get into tight places with it at all. This set it gets in, you know, in every little tight little crevice that I needed to. It's awesome. If you've never met someone that, that believes the philosophy that two is one and one is none, you have now because that's me. Look, another one of my favorite utility knives. We have multiple siding tools. Generally, what we'll use these for is to, to slip siding apart and then slip siding back together, or at least, you know, I did or do uh, when we're replacing windows or doors that have new construction flanges, you'll need to remove that siding. You need these tools to slip that siding apart a lot of times. Okay, we have a couple more five-in-ones. These are the Husky brand. And then we have more pry bars. So that pretty much sums it up. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video showing the inside of my tool bag and the outside of my tool bag. Oh wait, before you go, there's one more surprise little pouch to my tool bag. It's right up front here. I saved it for last. You want me to open it now, Nick? Sure. Let's, Let's see what's in there. Ta-da! It's double-sided tape, scotch double-sided tape. We got some of the frog tape, but one of my favorite things in this bag is this Tajami chalk line. This is like super, this is for, this is when I'm doing trim work and all. This is my chalk box. Nobody gets to use this. I mean, there are many like this chalk box, but this one is mine. So, I hope you've enjoyed this tool bag tour. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like. Leave your comments below. Do you have a tool bag like this, or what do you use for a tool bag? What do you have in your tool bag? We want to know. Leave the comments down below. Make sure you get subscribed for more content and videos just like this. And as always, thanks a lot, and have a great day.